ICC wins a year ago. Notre Dame start hands. Notre Dame starts in a man-to-man -man defense, but they will mix in some zone, and there you go. Mabry Gilbert getting her first start of the season. Peoples, Vaughn, and Westbelt, who's been spectacular so far. Virginia Tech, 1-0 in conference play, coming off an 88-71 against Pittsburgh last Thursday. Kitley, pretty move in the paint. Leister in with a back screen to catch it on that block again. A double team did not come from Notre Dame. You wonder how long they can do that. Mabry with the drive, not just on a three-point shooter, Dara Mabry. She only played nine minutes in that game, and after the game, Neil Ivey was asked about it. As you see, once again, single coverage, right shoulder, money right there for Kitley. Now, so a different look to start things off. Tonight, too, Sam Brunel has come into the game. Nice move to the basket again by Mabry. Player who is granted a sixth year of eligibility in her second year with the Irish after transferring from North Carolina. And there's the first points for Maddie Westbelt, the freshman who's been phenomenal. And they're shooting it so well right now. Over 42% from three, ranking first in the league and a friendly role right there for West Bell. So she can absorb contact. You'll see her here. She's creating contact by posting up. When she goes up for the shot, she gets bumped because of what's left. Well, Kenny Brooks knew what he had coming back. We're all just now getting a chance to get a look at it. Offensive rebound kept alive by Peoples. It'll stay with Notre Dame under the basket. He's like, I, I guess that means this shows what, what they think of me as a coach. I must not be able to coach at all I, for two first teamers. Uh, finally, they, Virginia Tech have been in quite of a drought. Be with the team since January. So she spent some time, a little more so than most normal transfers. Nice sequence there as Vaughn finishes. Yeah, that was a really nice pick and roll. And I think that's one area where Kitley is going to continue to need to improve, and that's defensively when she is step, has to step out and defend in the pick and roll. Steal. Deja Green going the other way. Gets two points for her efforts. Prasca. Kept going to the basket and gets the two points. Yeah, really nice move by Prohaska. She sees that the left side of the floor has mostly been cleared out. She's got the room to go. Oh, but she just got beat the other way. Shepard with the back door. And here, you have to come out and, and deny. That's what Prohaska tries to do. And what a beautifully threat pass by Deja Green to get it inside of her right between. Virginia Tech starting the game three of 10, four of four since that time. And chemistry, while that's something that Notre Dame has been looking for, it's something Virginia Tech feels has really been a strength for this group. Just one of those unforced mistakes you can't have. Final minute of the first quarter. Kitley off the glass and in. Same thing, elevated offense that time for Virginia Tech. We're trying to change that, can't do it. Shepard running the floor. Doesn't even put the ball down, just right off the glass. And in for two. We've got players like Brunel and Gilbert getting back healthy. Amor, the step back. Cherry on top for quarter number one in Virginia Tech. Amor, sophomore out of Australia, drains it. Blueprint of a player that Kenny Brooks likes to go and find, you know? He, you look at a player like a Matty Westbelt who just scored for Notre Dame. Likes finding the, uh, the players that are under the radar. I mean, that's just the situation he's been in when he's been trying to build a program. And he said, my goal uh, as Amor <laughs> takes another one to the hoop. Finding her open teammates when she gets double teamed, but again, that's an area that she still needs to grow. Vaughn, smooth, and in for two. Shepard, up and over, Westbelt for three. Points yet tonight. Westbelt, beautiful, nothing but net on that three. Of the quarter, so the next one will be putting Notre Dame on the line. Brunel, it's a player who can get hot from three. She did it last year in a loss against Virginia Tech. Prohaska, pounding Amor, takes it away. 
Prohaska, who had the medically red shirt, missed all of last season, back for Notre Dame this year. A two this time, and Brunel has five straight. Yeah, that possession pulling Kitley away from the basket, trying to create some more space inside, but they still end up with a turnover in Westbound again from the perimeter. Against Georgia Tech, all of those came in the second half. She has heated up early, and it is now a 15-0. It was a 15-0 Notre Dame run. Boy, did Virginia Tech need that three. Drive to the basket from Hayes is good. Kitley goes around Brunel. He heard him call for a double. It didn't get there in time. Brunel, long three, got it. Keeping up for Notre Dame in quarter number two. That big run to finish the first half for the Irish. Kitley in traffic, passes it off to Jones. That's something we didn't really see. Five on the shot clock for Amor. Pulls up, hits it. She has been really good. Compliment out on the perimeter, whether it's hitting threes or there, off of the rub screen. 17 points for Amor and a wide open Vaughn on the other end for Notre Dame. Brings them something a little di bit different on the defensive end of the floor. Brunel. No heat check for her. Doesn't matter the distance, she drains it. That is her third triple. She has 11. Deja Green answers for Virginia Tech. Goes to Westbelt. She'll drive. Swatted out by Jones. Virginia Tech leading the ACC, averaging nearly 12 made threes per game. Kitley adds two more. Shepard will take it. Why not? And, and there's not much you can do about that defensively. Important though, Tech has hit two threes already in this quarter after only making four in the first half. Basket will count as Anaya Peoples. Asia Shepard called for the foul. Westbelt adds two more to her tally. 17 now for the freshman. And Hayes has been paying Playing some more minutes here, takes it all the way herself. Shepard will drive and make it. A lot of minutes to then be over on the sideline. The best thing you can do to get those minutes back is just cheer like crazy for your team. Have a great attitude as well. Shepard looks inside to Kitley. Three players around her. She needs her shooters to shoot, and Michaela Annis obliges. Chips are that much more important <laughs> this year when everybody's schedule's out of whack. Find somebody with a driving distance. Nice job by Kitley to recover and then score inside. Certainly want to wait and go about eight seconds so you get the last shot. There's the screen. The shot from Peoples is good. And Notre Dame will take a one-point lead. Don't you love, like, the use of the new language? We're on pause. The team is on pause. <laughs> the program's on pause. Okay. I just say what they tell me to say, Rebecca. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Kitley looking for a way out of the double. Amor. The best three-point shooter by percentage in the ACC, showing you why tonight. Post people's up again. She's got, she's got King on her with the four fouls. I post people's up again. How about the uh, extra long-range three from Brunel? Or do that. Certainly a lot of high expectations for, I think, both of these teams. And what they can do in 2020, 21. How about that drive? And people's posting up. Just wasn't a clean pass inside. Brunel drains another one. It's over three minutes to play. Kitley gets the basket.
it to go. That was her first field goal since the two-minute mark of the third quarter. The Irish 15 of 20 from the line for the game. As Virginia Tech's going back to Kitley, another tough shot. Well, you called it, Rebecca. Notre Dame isolating King just about every time, but if that doesn't work, go to West Bend. French time now for the Irish. Drive all the way to the basket by Peoples is good. Yeah, that initial action was just to get the shot clock going down. Now it's Peoples' turn. Peoples finishes. Virginia Tech came into this perfect on the season. 6-0, 1-0 in conference play. They can sure shoot the three and keep things interesting as Green does there. Amor has it blocked. And Notre Dame will indeed pick up the win. Their first in conference play, Neil Ivey.